This video is going to be very, very different, and that's because Intel got in touch, and they not only want to sponsor this video, but they also sent over this very unique looking laptop. This is the HP Spectre Folio. And the reason why this laptop is so special and unique is not only because of the full letter design, but actually because of the insane 19 hour battery life that's possible thanks to the highly power efficient Intel processor that's inside. And it's not just that, but it also supports 4G connectivity. So the idea here is that this is an Intel always connected laptop and you can take laptops like this uh, with you anywhere you go and you'll always be connected to the internet thanks to the integrated Intel 4G modem that's inside of this. So let's take this for a full day out, fly some drones, take some great shots and then see if we can make a good video edit on the go without charging this thing at all and relying solely on the 4G connectivity of the HP Spectre. So yeah, I'm quite curious of the results myself. So yeah, grab those, grab the snacks, get some drinks ready because you'll need it for this one. This is going to be quite an interesting and exciting video and yeah, let's go. Okay, so the place that I'm going to is called Greenfield. This is, this is honestly one of the most beautiful places I've seen in the UK. It's got plains, it's got rocky hills, lakes, pretty much everything you need to take some beautiful shots. And this is also where I've taken some of the previous drone shots that you might have seen me post on Instagram at Zone of Tech. Okay, so I grabbed all the gear from the office at 7 a.m. It's currently 7.26 a.m. So yeah, I have to take the tram, which would take me to the train station from which I'll get the actual train to Greenfield. And I've arrived to the train station at 10 past 8 in the morning and the train to Greenfield leaves in just seven minutes. I'm on the train now and the journey has officially begun. Now this train trip is quite of a short one so it's less than 30 minutes from Manchester and during this time I want to take the laptop out of my bag and start doing some tests. The battery life is at 100% and I'm currently using it in better battery mode. So there's another mode called battery saver which is even more power efficient than this one but this is the one that Windows recommends by default. So I'm going to leave it uh, in this one for most of the journey and see how power efficient Intel's processor really is. And now I want to test out 4G. So this is a very difficult test to do, especially on a train trip, since uh, even my phone keeps disconnecting every 30 seconds or so due to, you know, the high speed of the train, it's constantly trying to find new cellular antennas. But with Intel cellular modem and the larger and stronger antennas, I never really had this issue at all. Instead, 4G worked like a charm from the moment I enabled it. So I decided to watch a few of our YouTube videos just to see how smooth the playback was, and everything was buttery smooth and playable. Also, something quite cool about the HP Spectre is that you can actually flip the display and turn it into a tablet. So it has full touch support, so if you're into consuming content, then this is a great way to do it. And then I wanted to do a 4G speed test and I was very, very impressed by the results. So I was getting just over 20 megabits per second download speeds and this was on a moving train as well. So yeah, very, very impressive so far. I also did a bit of scripting for this video and during that 30 minute train trip, the battery life dropped only by 3%. So yeah, so far, Intel's always connected laptops do seem really impressive, not just because of their 4G connection, but also because of their battery life. So yeah, let's see how this holds up for the entirety of the journey. And there we go, we have now arrived in Greenfield. <laughs> Luckily, the weather was actually on our side, so everything was sunny and bright. Pretty much the perfect weather you could ask for for, you know, taking shots like this. So now step number two of our journey is walking to the shooting location. So this is where we'll fly the drone from and take most of the shots. And this is about a 40 minute walk. And during this walk, I wanted to take some really beautiful shots with my new camera that I recently got. So this is the Sony a7 III. This thing can do 14 megabit raw stills. So it's really impressive. Keep an eye on the Instagram page, at Zone Effect, by the way, because I'll be posting some of these there. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how well the Intel i7 8500 Y processor that's inside the HP Spectre, how well it would be able to handle those 14-bit raw stills in Lightroom and Photoshop, uh, as I will be editing these during the trip. So now that we got some good photos, it's time to take some good video. And of course, that the best way to do that is always, always with a drone. So here I have our Mavic 2 Pro, actually my favorite drone on the market right now, so let's take it out of the bag, set it up, uh, set the controller up as well, let it update, and now it's fully ready for the takeoff. And wow! <laughs> Just take a look at the scenery, guys. First of all, Greenfield is an amazing place. Honestly, if you haven't been here, you go and see it. It's incredible. And the footage coming from the drone was unbelievable as well. So yeah, I just gotta believe how lucky we were that the entire journey, the entire day actually was sunny. So yeah, there was no rain, no clouds, nothing. Everything was just gorgeous for shots like this. So yeah, it was an incredible day to shoot.
shooting. So now that we took all the drone shots, it is time to transfer the footage and start the editing process. So thanks to Intel's always connected laptops, with that 4G connectivity all the time, you can basically start working literally anywhere you want. So yeah, I'm just going to take a seat on this rock here and let's see how the editing process really goes. And here's one of my favorite features. So uh, since the HP Spectre Folio comes with an Intel processor, it also supports Thunderbolt, which is an Intel developed technology, which provides the fastest speeds for any consumer available port. Of up to 40 gigabits per second or five gigabytes per second, that's insane. This is four times the speed of 10 gigabit ethernet, which is commonly used in businesses for directly connecting to their servers and as well as video production. So, yeah, this thing is crazy, crazy fast. Honestly, get a laptop with Thunderbolt uh, because it's just amazing. And since this one comes with two Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, you can attach external graphics cards like a GTX 1080 Ti, for example, and turn this into a full gaming computer. If you really choose to do so, you can actually do that. Just keep an eye for the Thunderbolt 3 symbol on USB-C ports whenever you're trying to buy a laptop because like I said, this is a true game changer. Literally. And since my drone also has a USB Type-C port, I can directly transfer the footage to the Spectre without the need to have a microSD card adapter or anything like that. And we had about 26 gigabytes of footage from the drone, which took about 6 to 7 minutes to fully transfer at close to 70 megabytes per second. Nice. Okay, so during all this time, the battery life has now dropped to 88%, uh, which is still real impressive, and I'm still using it, by the way, in better battery mode for the time being. Okay, but what about that 4G connection? Well, I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere now, quite far away from modern civilization, and take a look at this. I'm getting 36 megabits per second download speeds, which is even higher than what I was getting on the train. So yeah, a bit lower on the upload side with only 4.2, uh, 4.12 megabits per second, but I mean, getting these speeds here in the middle of nowhere is just insane. And all of this wouldn't be possible at all without Intel's innovation. So having a laptop that's always connected with this great of a battery life is really a first in the industry. So now that I got all that drone footage transferred, it is time to look for a good background music track and I think I found just the one. Tropic Traveler from Audio Library seems to work quite nicely here. And since we're talking about music, the Spectre also comes with quad speakers, which are actually pretty good. So yeah, they have a high enough acoustic range that I was able to hear the track very easily, even outdoors. <laughs> After we picked and downloaded the background song, it was time to go to our Google Team Drive and download some of the other music assets that we needed for the edit. And thanks to the 4G connectivity, the close to 400 megabyte folder downloaded in just about a minute. Impressive. So yeah, I'm actually getting faster 4G speeds, by the way, than on my phone. So yeah, it seems like Intel did a really good job here with our 4G modem. Okay, so now we have everything we need to start the actual edit. So I've opened up Premiere Pro, plugged in my headphones, and it is time to start going through the footage. I've imported all the footage into Premiere, and for this test, I did put it in best performance mode, which actually drained the battery life by about 20% in about an hour and 30 minutes from the last reading, which wasn't bad at all. Uh, do keep in mind that the more intensive of tasks you do, the faster the battery would drain. Now, I did have an issue with the display's brightness here of the Spectre, so it did get quite bright outside, and I was indeed having trouble seeing the display at all, even on maxed out brightness. And yes, this looks even worse on camera, by the way. And since it was about 3 p.m. now, we decided to pack everything up, get something to eat, and continue the editing process from indoors or, you know, somewhere with a bit more shade. Okay, so we walked all the way back from where we came from, and we found this really, really nice terrace where we had something to eat, and this enclosure here was a great place to work from. It wasn't it wasn't as bright as outside, uh, so I could actually see the display much better. The battery is now at 58%, and I've put the Spectre back on better battery mode. And even here, the cellular signal is still going strong. So I'm getting about 52 megabits per second down and about five megabits per second up, which is actually the highest I got so far. So yeah, really, really impressed with Intel's 4G modem here. So I continued working on a video edit. I applied a bit of color grading on the shots and then moved over to editing some of the raw photos that I took before. Once again, USB-C saves the day. So the Sony a7 III also has a USB Type-C port, uh, which means that I can directly connect it to the Spectre and get the footage transferred in a breeze. And Lightroom seems to run really well. So thanks to the Intel i7 8500Y processor, I was able to easily edit those 14-bit raw shots. And something that I haven't really talked about before is that the Spectre also comes with a pen bundled inside a box. And you can use this pen for things such as writing or even better in Photoshop for drawing or removing some of the objects in the scene, like this tree here or this boat. 
So yeah, it's a very, very useful thing to have. And especially since you can flip the display over, this is an amazing device to use the pen on since it can instantly convert into a tablet when you need it to. Also, something quite interesting regarding the pen is that it comes with a USB Type-C port. So yeah, you can use the same charger for both the Spectre and the pen, no need to buy individual batteries. Okay, so now that the actual work has finished, it is time to head back. So I hopped on a train back to Manchester and during this trip I wanted to do a bit of scripting, you know, writing down the final conclusion to how everything went. And the battery life at this point got to 35% and yes, the 4G speeds, obviously I had to test them again, uh, they were over 20 megabits per second for both download and upload. And at 7.06pm we have arrived back in Manchester, a full 12 hour journey after I left my home. I have returned. And that is the following day, by the way. Um, let's see, the HP Spectre has been in standby all night. And the battery life is at 24%. Not bad. So the question is, can an Intel always connected laptop such as this HP Spectre last you for an entire day of work? And the answer to that is yes, it definitely can. And keep in mind that I wasn't even using it in battery saver mode, instead I was using this in better battery mode, and even in maximum performance mode while I was doing the video editing bit. So if you use this thing just in battery saver mode, and you only do lightweight tasks, then it can very likely last you for even more than 19 hours. Then the 4G connectivity was way better than I expected, so to be honest, I, I didn't expect to have any signal where we were. I honestly wasn't expecting this. Uh, but the speeds were actually higher than a lot of broadband connections, so I'm very, very surprised and impressed with this. And yes, I know some of you might say, well, Daniel, you can just use your smartphone to create a hotspot. And that's true, you can, you can do that and get 4G on any laptop. But by doing this, you not only drain your smartphone's battery, but you also have to go through the settings, enable hotspots uh, on your phone and then on your laptop as well. So there's quite a few steps that you have to do to enable hotspot on your phone and connect this to your phone. But with this one having 4G integrated, uh, you not only get significantly faster speeds, but you're always connected as well. You don't need to uh, switch any switch on, so to say. You just turn it on and boom, you're always, always connected no matter where you are. And when it comes to the performance, the HP Spectre can easily handle all the lightweight tasks that you throw at it. So it's got an Intel 8th generation 1.5 up to 4.2 gigahertz i7 8500Y processor with two cores. So yeah, browsing the web, writing documents, and even photo editing are easily doable. Uh, video editing, not so much. The footage from the Mavic 2 Pro was actually 10-bit 4K footage, so it was really demanding and the Spectre struggled quite a lot with that. But if you only edit 1080p footage, then the 8500Y processor can easily handle that. Keep in mind that this isn't a machine made for high-end 4K video editing or anything like that, any high-intensive apps, but it was made for people that want something light, something on the go, with a great battery life, a touchscreen that also flips and turns into a tablet, a pen for drawing or writing notes, and of course, a device that's always, always connected. But make sure to check out the link in the description to learn more about Intel's always connected laptops, such as this HP Spectre that we tested. So there are many other models available, by the way, uh, and they all come with two key selling features all day battery life and 4G connectivity so that you're always connected to the internet no matter where you are. So now I think that it is time for me to show you the final edit uh, of the project we worked on in this video and in this trip, the drone footage. Yeah, the entire product of this trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really different one to make and a really fun one and exciting. So I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks to Intel for sponsoring this video. And here's the final video product.